youth in Nigeria form a major part of the country's population. However, the challenges for them to contest and win elections in the country are enormous. Now, this is the reason behind a one-day youth electoral reform forum in Benin City, where youth from Edo, Delta, and Bayosa State, including leaders from the National Youth Council of Nigeria, journalists, and members of the social cultural groups, CSOs, and some persons living with disabilities, engaged in discussions that formed recommendations for the electoral reform in the country. Now, Dakora Gray has details in this report. The South-South Youth Electoral Reform Forum in its coalition stage is aimed at supporting youths to lead electoral reform efforts. It is also meant to get them involved in the electionarian process and become card-carrying party members even as the Edo governorship election is approaching. This project is supporting youth to lead electoral reform efforts. And uh, we chose Benin because Benin will, Benin will be having all, uh, all the cycle election and I will th we think it's necessary. This forum and all that we have done here, the recommendation, all the highlights we've had in today's forum will be passed down to the youth so that they, they, they will not become willing hands, you know, for election violence in the hands of politicians. This is the uh, coalition stage. We believe that after now we'll be going in to do advocacy. So we're coming back to Benin to carry out uh, voters' conferences so that we can also take this message probably to communities. And that was the tension that is already building up here. Young people in the Niger Delta should get involved and get engaged. They should engage the process. Engaging the process is by becoming party members, not just being um, members of uh, political parties that are not card carrying members. They should be card carrying members of political parties. What we are trying to do from this reform is to see that the voices of young persons are being included. And why you see that young persons are making recommendations and these recommendations are getting to the House, I think. It's something that is going to boost the confidence of young persons to participate. What we really want to see is incre increased inclusion in our electoral process. And you know that young persons make a large chunk of our populations. Appreciating the organizers for putting the program together, participants say the issues in the electoral system are economical. Uh, first, I want to appreciate the organizers of this very, very beautiful forum. It's been a process of relearning and also uh, unlearning a lot of things that I actually know prior before now. Most important is the need to pay attention to how uh, the electoral chairman, INEC, um, is bring to bed. It's our hope that um, these recommendations will be carried into parts of uh, the uh, electoral uh, uh, amendment uh, process so that we can really hit the nail on the head. So, however, we still understand that the background issue on electoral issues still boils down to that of an economic one. Some of the challenges alighted during the discourse that shaped the 2023 general election were the sudden narrow redesign policy, electoral technology, voter suppression, misinformation, and violence, amongst others. Tal Korugri, Plus TV News, Edo. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.